The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 7. Now when the Pharisees, with some scribes, who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned Jesus, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? Jesus responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precept. You disregard God's command, but cling to human tradition. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand, nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile from within people. From their hearts come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. I think the first thing we must think about here is that the Pharisees and Jesus himself were not talking about hygiene or hygienic questions, the science of dealing with the preservation of health and the practice of uh, washing one's hands uh, before eating and so forth uh, as a matter of cleanliness to preserve health. That is important, and but that is not the question here at hand. The question here is of a religious nature. Uh, the ritual of washing, which is a tradition handed down from the elders, the Jewish elders. And they put great emphasis on this, so much so that it became almost more important than keeping the commandments of God. Uh, so... This is the first point that I think we should remember here, that the question is not, the washing of hands is not a question of hygiene, but it is um, a ritual question, uh, which it was uh, overemphasized by the Pharisees and the scribes that came to Jesus complaining that his apostles didn't follow those traditions. Well, it's a little bit off the point here, but sometimes, you know, when we pray, how do we pray? Like, for example, the rosary or other prayers, even a mass or the reception of Holy Communion. How do we mm, pray? How do we offer praise to Almighty God? Is it simply, as Jesus said, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me? 
And does that ever apply to me, to each of us? Do we simply pray or go to Mass or receive Holy Communion in kind of a mechanical way? Or are, are we doing it with all our heart and making an effort to appreciate and honor Almighty God? Number one, it's, just, it's not the main point, but it's something to think about. How do I pray? Do I really put an effort into praising God from the heart? Or is it just words that I'm uttering? Well, Jesus then, of course, takes the side of the apostles and he answers those Pharisees that um, they are hypocrite because they put more emphasis on the doctrines of human precepts, of what people think, of what they have decided to do, more than on the commandments of God. And so he quotes from the prophet Isaiah that these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. So he kind of scolds the Pharisees and the scribes because they're putting the emphasis on the wrong place. Number one is what God, his commands, and then his will be done in each, each one of our lives, each one of us. That is the most important thing, to do the will of God. And Jesus goes on then to say, it's not so much what goes into the person, but how the person is eating or what is e he's eating, but it's the things that come out of the heart. And here, we, Jesus really, you might say, makes a list that is quite impressive. What comes out from the heart comes evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, and some of those things hurt. We have uh, pride where sometimes we are jealous of people. Sometimes um, we judge people. And these are the evil things that come out of the heart. And this is what defiles a person, Jesus tells us. The bottom line of all this might be found in the Psalm 51, verse 10, which states as follows. Create a clean heart in me, O God, and renew a faithful spirit within me. May the Lord bless you and keep you from all evil. May he always lead you along the right way, according to his holy light, and in his Holy Spirit.